Okay, we're going to be doing exercise 5-10 in my electrical workers textbook and we're going to be creating a conduit run schedule. We're going to start by going to the manage ribbon and select project parameters. Okay, we currently have two project parameters, occupant and subdiscipline by default. We're going to click add. Okay, we want to make sure it's a project parameter, not a shared parameter, because a shared parameter is an external file. We're going to call it conduit run name, and it's going to be text, and we'll group it under text. It's going to be an instance, because each conduit will have its own conduit run name. And then we want to make sure that it applies to fittings, runs, and conduits. And then we're going to say OK. And then you'll see conduit run name in the list. And we'll click OK to close that dialog box. Now I'm going to zoom into my model here. And you can see we have four conduits. If I click on this and select it and then click the tab, notice it highlights the whole run and I can select everything. And you'll notice that my conduit run name is now available here. So I'm going to say this is normal high. And that applied it to the entire run. See that? Okay, so I'm going to hit Escape to release that selection. And then I'm going to come over to the next conduit. Notice this is normal low. Um, if I click down here, I can't use the tab. So I want to click in the center of that conduit and then hit the tab and then click again to select the entire run and I'm going to say normal low and apply. And then I'm going to hit escape. Okay, <clears throat> moving over. This one is emergency low. So again, I'm going to click toward the middle and hit tab and click again to select. And I'm going to say emergency low and apply and click. And then come over here select, hit the tab, click again, and this is emergency high. And I'm going to click apply and escape. So you can see all of these now have been assigned names. Okay, so now we can go and see about creating our schedule. So I'm going to go to the view tab on the ribbon. I'm going to go to schedules, schedule quantities, I'm going to select multi-category and I'm going to say conduit runs. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to try and locate any conduit that hasn't been assigned a conduit run name. Okay, so I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to say that I want to select a conduit run name and family and type. Then I'm going to go to the Filter tab, and I'm going to say Conduit Run Name has no value. In other words, this is going to search through my model and locate any conduits that don't have a Conduit Run Name assigned. Then I'm going to go to the Sorting Grouping, and I'm going to sort it by Conduit Run Name. Then I'm going to click OK. So obviously doors aren't going to have a Conduit no run name or the utility vault or electrical appliances and that thing. But notice that I've got, when I come to the bottom, here are some conduits that have not been assigned conduit um, run names. So luckily I've assigned types so I can see what run name they should be under. So I can select normal low and as soon as I assign it a conduit um, run name, it's going to disappear. It's going to drop off because it no longer meets that filter. So I'm going to come through and this one's going to be normal high and this one's going to be normal high. This one's normal low and this one's normal low, 
normal low, emergency low, emergency low, whoops, emergency low, and emergency high. This one is also emergency high. Okay, so now they're going to disappear. So now we're going to create another schedule. So I'm going to go to the view. I'm going to go schedule, schedule quantities. And this time I'm going to highlight conduit runs here and call it conduit run schedule and say OK. And I'm going to put in the conduit run name, the family and type, and the length. Okay. And I'm going to go to the filter tab. I'm going to set it that it's not going to filter by anything. And then I'm going to go to the formatting tag tab. I'm going to highlight length. I'm going to enable calculate totals. And then I'm going to the sorting and grouping, and I'm going to say conduit run name. I'm going to enable filter, and I'm going to say totals only. And I'm going to say OK. And now you see my schedule, just like that. And that's how you create a conduit run schedule, where you can see how many, what length of conduit you need for each type of conduit.